With all the incredible development in AI, let's check out Tesla's very own humanoid robot that debuted on Tesla Day 2022. Tesla AI Day 2022 Tesla's AI Day is its annual showcase of the latest technology across the company's various business units. While Tesla vehicles gain the majority of the press coverage, they have a wide range of different applications and products that they continue to develop and refine. You can think of it kind of like Apple's annual release event, but with more of a focus on what is to come in the future. Apple announces iPhones that are ready for purchase the next week, and AI announces technology that may still be years away from the full release. Over time, Tesla's AI is becoming a larger and larger event with a live stream that's watched by millions across the globe. Investors or potential investors tune in to find out the new ways Tesla is looking to generate revenue for the company. The tech-obsessed watch to see how Tesla is pushing the envelope in bringing new and exciting innovations to the market. Some just watch because they know that Elon Musk always puts on a show. Tesla AI Day 2022 was celebrated to demonstrate how far the company's autonomous robot and vehicle research has come. The event gave people a first look at the Tesla humanoid robot strolling around the stage, updates on self-driving software, and a first look at the Dojo hardware powering Tesla's AI research. Tesla's autopilot team explained that they have come far with full self-driving, which expanded its beta from 2,000 Tesla drivers last year to 160,000 so far this year. It is only available in Canada and US, though Musk claimed that without regulatory issues to sort out with every country, they would expand possibly globally. Additionally, Tesla engineers explain how they have sped up the car's decision-making capabilities from weighing options in milliseconds to 100 microseconds, which is 10 times faster. The team showed how FSD's tech sees the world around Tesla's mapped in 3D geometry and makes choices based on what is around them. At the event, Tesla also provided further insight into its secretive supercomputer project, Dojo. Dojo is part of Tesla's plans to use supercomputers to train self-driving car capabilities based on optical cameras rather than LiDAR. At the company's AI Day 2022, a year since its initial reveal, Tesla revealed Dojo has gone from a chip and tile to a system tray and a full cabinet. Once completed, Dojo will be among the most powerful supercomputers in the world. Dojo's cabinets will consist of 120 tiles that will hold a total of 3,000 custom D1 chips. Each cabinet contains trays consisting of 2x3 tiles. Each cabinet can produce 100 PFLOPs. Upon initial tests of Dojo's power and cooling infrastructure earlier this year, the supercomputer was so powerful it tripped the local power substation. But the one update everyone was looking forward to was the one on the Tesla humanoid robot. Tesla Bot Elon Musk opened Tesla's AI Day 2022 by unveiling a prototype of its humanoid robot, which the company hopes to mass produce and sell for under $20,000. The robot shape and function are inspired by human beings, but also draw on Tesla's car manufacturing expertise. Its name is Optimus. It's 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighs 125 pounds. Optimus can walk, carry packages, water plants and move objects, although not very well. At last year's AI Day, Musk brought out a person in a robot suit. This year, he brought out an actual humanoid. The robot took a few awkward steps, waved mechanically, and walked offstage at Tesla's offices in Palo Alto, California. Musk explained, the robot can actually do a lot more than what we just showed you, but we didn't want it to fall on its face. We'll show you some videos now of the robot doing a bunch of other things. The company then presented videos of a cable-tethered Optimus awkwardly performing some simple tasks. The technician spent a long time explaining how difficult it is to get a robot to walk without falling and to manipulate objects. Tesla then brought out an even more rudimentary prototype of the next generation Optimus robot. While the first generation Optimus prototype was somewhat clunky looking, the second one had a cleaner, sleeker design. But it could barely stand upright and nearly fell over before technicians caught it. Tesla's robot is plainly clumsier than other prototypes. Japanese companies like Toyota and Honda have developed more agile robots that can even shoot and sink baskets. But Musk defiantly said, you've seen demonstrations of very impressive humanoid robots, and that's great, but what are they missing? A brain. They don't have the intelligence to navigate the world on their own. They're also very expensive and can only be manufactured in small numbers. Optimus is designed to be an extremely capable robot 
that can be mass-produced, potentially millions of units, and is expected to cost much less than a car. I would say probably under 20,000. That would be my guess. The robot's power source is a battery embedded in its chest and is designed to be energy efficient. It has a main board for artificial intelligence and a navigation system similar to the one in Tesla's autonomous cars. This navigation system was the main focus throughout Tesla's AI day. Optimus has built-in cameras and sensors, wireless connectivity, audio capabilities, and strength transmission points so it can move around and hold and carry objects. It has important hardware safety features for protecting the robot and the people around it. Musk is well aware that there is a lot of room for improvement. One of his goals is to manufacture enough robots to test them as workers in Tesla's factories. In the meantime, Tesla will focus on improving its capabilities. ChatGPT the Elon Musk founded AI chatbot. OpenAI, an independent research body founded by Elon Musk, along with Sam Altman, launched a chatbot, ChatGPT, and in just a week, the service has peaked at over 1 million users. ChatGPT is a conversational dialogue model, a chatting robot trained by artificial intelligence and machine learning. It understands and responds to natural human language and answers questions, and talks like you were to talk to humans. It gets its name from GPT, or Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. It is a deep learning language model that specializes in generating human-like written text. Deep learning, which is a machine learning method with three or more layers of a neural network, attempts to simulate the behavior of a human brain, which then allows it to learn like humans. The chatbot was taken the internet by storm. With human-like replies and prompt answers, this platform has made the internet curious and is one of the biggest steps forward in applicable AI technology. But how is it different from Siri or an Alexa who can also talk and respond, tell a joke, or recite a poem? How is ChatGPT different from any other AI models that are already available? Well, it's different because ChatGPT will remember your earlier conversations for context. It will even admit its mistakes, challenge premises, and sometimes even decline to answer. A user can start by going to OpenAI's website, clicking on the Try ChatGPT button, and start using. OpenAI has trained ChatGPT using a training method known as Reinforcement Learning from Human Feedback, or RLHF. It uses a reward and punishment system to train AI. So whenever it takes on action, it is classified into two categories, desirable or punishable. The desired action is rewarded, whereas an undesired one is punished. With this trial and error method, AI then learns what works and what wouldn't. CEO Sam Altman has already hinted that the company will monetize the platform in the future. We will have to monetize it somehow at some point. The compute costs are eye-watering, he said in a tweet when asked if the service will forever be free. Elon Musk's Warning on AI While Musk is known for his support and development of AI, after all, he's developed Optimus and autonomous self-driving cars powered by AI, he's long opposed the pace of advancement in robotics, often citing a film that came out when he was just 13. In 2014, Musk said, I like to just keep an eye on what's going on with artificial intelligence. There have been movies about this, you know, like The Terminator. There are some scary outcomes. That's all for today's video. See you next time.